Yo, what's going on guys, but welcome back. Today we're using the rapid fire akimbo pistols in Modern Warfare. I'm sure you guys know the identity akimbo perk for all of the pistols, which has actually been really fun, like trying out a bunch of different pistols with the akimbo, just to see what it's like, man. Like, it's been a lot of fun trying these different things out, but this one is for the 1911. Now, I call these the rapid fire ones, and to be honest, you can probably use the X16 and the M19 to be called the rapid fire pistols. In fact, they fire quicker, but I believe the 1911 is a little bit more powerful, which is why I decided to go for this one. And realistically, you got two pistols, so you can get your shots off really fast. But before we get into this video, man, I do have to say it's one of those days for sure. You can tell when I've got my hood up, just know that I need my hair cut really bad, man. I've got a barber's appointment tomorrow, so relax. But yo, man, if you guys could drop an early like on the video, that would be appreciated. Let's just see how many likes we can get on this video, man. I do manage to drop a tactical nuke as well, so make sure you watch all the way through. Also, if you do want to be featured at the end of one of my videos, then basically all you need to do is hit the bell to turn on post notifications. And let me know what is your longest kill streak in this game. I'm reading every single comment, so let me know, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, so the thing is with these ones obviously is the fact that yeah they're not really gonna be a one shot like the deagle or the you know snake shot but I can spray him like I just did and real like honestly bro I kind of find them easier to use just because I don't know the fact that I can shoot as much as possible Yo, he picked up mine. Yeah, it just makes me feel a lot more comfortable when I'm actually challenging someone with it. With a deagle, there's the chance that you might miss your shot. And if you miss your shot, yeah, it's looking extra slow for you. Extra, extra, extra slow. And you don't want that. There we go. Hold up. There we go. Yeah, close range, these things go crazy. There we go. Bro, yo, Rust is annoying. Oh, you see? Wait, did he just spawn right there? He actually, yo, hello? Bro, I just spawned right next to him. All right, I don't feel bad anymore. Yeah, man, I feel like season two, I did a bunch of variety into the game, which I like, of course, like all the akimbo weapons that you can make now, all the, I don't know, different variants that they've added. I think it's cool. I like it when you do stuff like that. It switches like the pace just a little bit. Nothing too drastic, of course, which is not really what I want to be fair, because I don't want the whole game to change. But, you know, little things like this that I feel like Loki should have been in the game from the start, to be fair. Like, you know, akimbo pistol. And that's kind of bad to me that that wasn't in the game offering, to be honest. The following Thursday. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I definitely just backed out of that last lobby because they got a VTO jet. And honestly, I feel like if they get a VTO jet on Rust, yeah, it's damn near over. You might as well give up at that point. Especially when I'm running around with pistols, bro. Like, I'm not trying to. I don't. I don't know. There's not much inside on Rust, so yeah, I ain't trying to put myself through that and deal with that ever. I'm not. I'm really not. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just not gonna put myself through that. Low key, playing Rust in general with pistols just isn't the best thing to do. So, like, I'm already putting myself through some stuff. Hold up. There you go. I've only got four bullets in the right one. How's that even work? Sometimes I swear, like, with these Akimbo pistols, man, I can, I can for sure be, well, I think I for sure be, like, firing each of them, like, perfectly. But apparently not. Apparently I'm still messing up and, like, I end up having more ammo in one than the other. I don't know how it happens, but... Pistols are cool, don't get me wrong, but they're not cool enough to just sprint around with. Do you know what I mean? Definitely not. Like, these pistols are not made for just running around with at all. Oh my, I'm losing four. Hey man, what do you guys think of season two so far? Like, be honest though. Like, what do you actually think of it? I feel like it's a lot better than season one for sure. Uh, I don't know. Season one got kind of boring really quick in my opinion. So, I feel like they've done a better job on this. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like they've definitely done like a better job with this one in comparison to the last one for sure, for sure. Like, there's a bunch more bunch more content for us to use. Like, different weapons, different variants and stuff like that. So, I don't know how I barely got any ammo. Oh my. Pistols run out of ammo so flipping quick. We got a VTOL joint. Have I got kill chain on? Oh, I have it, bro. If I had kill chain on right now, I'd low key be guaranteed my, my advance. Okay, all right. Well done, Fred. Flipping well done. I had to take kill chain off because I was getting sick of running into Claymore or getting Semtex. For some reason on this map, people love to throw Semtexes off spawn. And yeah, I'm not dealing with that. Without EOD, so I had to run it. Don't get me wrong though, kill chain is a fire perk to run. Like if people, I don't know, if I somehow magically got a nice lobby where people weren't throwing down Claymores all the time and Semtex is all of that, then yeah, for sure, I would rock the hell out of kill chain. Yeah, 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 I ain't dealing with that. I'm sorry. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it.
I got it! Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> hey, is that count as an M1911 or whatever it's called, Nick? Yo, I knew I got most of my kills with the M4, so I was like, you know what? I have to get the final kill with the N9. What was it called, bro? The 1911? The night? Yeah, I think it's called the 1911. Ah, I challenged myself to get the final kill with that weapon, and they were hunting me. They were fully hunting me, man. Yo, make sure you guys drop a like on this video, man. And I'm sure you guys can understand that it's damn near impossible to like just run around with the 1911s and drop a nuke, like realistically. I'm sure you guys know with normal like ground war lobbies that's not really gonna happen so i try and just use it like realistically as like a back pocket weapon which is the way really these are supposed to be used you're not supposed to run around with these as a primary the main thing i'm happy about is the fact that we managed to get the final kill with it which is a big risk like if you're one kill off a new you're not trying to risk using like an m1911 with dual well so you can't even aim in and i had to jump out the window too because they were trying to way too many things with death conning Oh yeah, that's not happening. That is not happening. See, this is why I had to use the M4 quite a lot. It's great for those like singular kills that you need. Like close range though. Long range? Nah, not at all. I'm gonna spawn in and call in this nuke, man. <laughs> I mean, we got like two kills with the M19, but we used it the way it's supposed to be used. You know, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me survive. Let me survive now. Use them the way they're supposed to be used. You know what I mean? We're not supposed to be just sprinting around with the M19s. That's just not going to work unless I somehow get the bottiest of lobby. Even still, I don't know if it's happening to be fair. So, bro, I can't even spawn in and see my nuke. How sad is this? This is emotional. Oh, wait. There we go. We good. We good. The end screen's so glitched now. If you die in the end screen, you don't really get to see your nuke properly. But, yeah, we dropped a nuke with the M4 slash M19. More so the M4, though, to be fair. I don't care, mate. Hey, just like the Deagle one. Hey, can we count that? Can we count that as the M19? I don't know. All I'm saying is they were hunting me, trying to get me, and it didn't work out. I feel like Rusty's like a really annoying map to play. Unless you use it like a really normal weapon, I feel like you shouldn't play it. Like, it's just not going to go well at all. Especially when you got people running around with gold marksman rifles, gold MP5, gold, all of that. It's, it's just not happening, man. Especially with the Akimbo 1911s, man. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, let's see the... Right, <laughs> right. I've noticed that on Rust, no one really cares about the objective. Like, no one, you're not going to see anyone going for the uh, tags and stuff like that. Or for the most part, you know. This guy is going to annoy me. I can already tell. Yeah, people don't really go for the objective, whether it's the flags, whether it's the headquarters, uh, I don't know, the tags, all of that. They're not really going to go for him. So, I don't know. Yeah, the game's going to last a little bit longer than they should do on a small map like this. If I get sniped, to get. He's mounted with the MK2 on Rust. <laughs> Bro, I was about to go crazy. I was about to go insane. He just spawned right there as well. Oh my. We popped off for a second, like switching weapons like that. I don't know. I just find the M19s to be a little bit more reliable, man. At close range, just because I don't know. I feel like I can hit my shots more. I guess that's what it is. I'm more confident in hitting my shots with the 1911s than I am with the, I don't know, the Deagle or whatever. I don't know. I feel like it's quite a normal thing. With like a weapon that you can fire a little bit quicker, for sure you're going to be a little bit more confident, right? Gonna wait here. Oh, right. Oh, we actually got that kill. Here we go. Yo, who calls in a white phosphorus on Rust, man? Like, how, how am I supposed to see now? It's not even an enemy one. I feel like the white phosphorus might be the worst streak ever added into the game. Into Call of Duty, like, ever. I mean, it's cool, the fact that I can melt people. But, yeah, just the whole thought process in general of me not being able to see, my teammates not being able to see. Yeah, I don't like the idea. He just... Right, <laughs> right, okay, game doesn't want to see me winning, all right. Yeah, the white phosphorus idea, I, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that might be the worst idea ever to add into Modern Warfare, man. Like, in any Call of Duty, it wouldn't make sense. It helps out, I guess. Okay, so if you hit him, you're going to get the kill, for sure. And then they could run into the flames and get killed as well. But it's like, I don't know, like, it doesn't really help the teammates at all. Which, it's not like it needs to, but it's, it puts them at a disadvantage. It's, it doesn't help him, but it also makes it worse for him. Same amount that it does. Yo, yo, what just happened? Man, just spawn next to me again!